I just kind of handed the paper over to this guy and he said, just come with me, follow me, hurry up. So hopefully it starts right up. That's yeah. the thing, because we don't have a booster box with us. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got something super exciting and something that we've always wanted to do, if you can't tell by the title already. But as for the Jeep here, we were supposed to get on the frame machine today, but we just got done talking to V-Tune, and he does need one more day because it is currently occupied, which is perfect because we are missing a major component, and that is these door hinges. As you can tell, they are pretty badly bent. You can see a big old gap. And those will be in this afternoon, which hopefully we can get this framework knocked out in the next video and that'll actually give us a little bit more time over the weekend as well but we already got the truck and trailer hooked up over there let's hit the road and we'll do a little bit more explaining look at thomas back there man he wants to go with us should we take him i mean if he wants to stay on there he's just gonna stay on there all the way <laughs> <laughs> he always loves checking out the new stuff that comes in and he's probably gonna be on that all over that new truck that we got oh, definitely. but it is a dually so we definitely grabbed these things this time because we learned from hauling the ford man scratched up them wheels pretty bad and those things actually help we'll put them uh, on the side of these little what would you call it, wheel wells right yeah, here yeah wheel wells we'll put them right there so we got know. everything got some tools what else we got we got everything basically we don't need much because it is a run and drive so i mean we did grab some bungee cords just in case we need to bungee the hood up but hopefully this thing ain't as heavy as that 450 right there man dude that was sketchy but it's not as far away yeah, it's like two and a half hours away yeah, or something like exactly, that exactly but we're gonna go ahead and sweep all these rocks up so they don't bang up any other cars behind us and we'll hit the road
in Cope Park. Let's go inside, pay the people, and we're gonna come right back outside and hopefully we don't get a dinger in our tailgate. Oh yeah. <laughs> this, is this is the exact Cope Park where we got a dinger in this little Duramax, but oh, you know we what? We are back, man. If we get another dinger, something's fishy going on. <laughs> no, I think it's just difficult to load these big trucks. I know it's pretty difficult. You gotta have longer forks, but- Especially just... a dually, man. Oh yeah, it's tough. Hopefully we can maybe drive it out or something. I don't know. Something like that, but let's just go ahead and actually pay for this sucker and then load it up and we'll just walk around the truck then, right? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, so we just got out of the office and we probably spent about an hour there. That's the most we've ever spent, but they're super busy today. And they just actually told us some bad news that they're not gonna be able to load the 3500. But luckily this is a run and drive. Maybe we'll just be able to pull it right onto our trailer and go from there. So let's uh, give them the paperwork and see what we can get. We're in the yard here, got the paperwork here. We can't show you this. We'll reveal the price, I think maybe later. Yeah. Just for, just to keep it a surprise. But yeah, yeah let's go see if we can get a loader with some long forks or maybe uh, see if we can drive it out here. I ain't son, got some bullet holes. Those are actually those little stick-ons. What's up, man? Uh, uh, jumper. That guy was just asking for a jumper box. We didn't have one. We totally forgot ours as well. Hopefully they can supply one, but we put these here, as you know, so we don't scratch our wheels. Hey man, it's like a dang, you gotta, it's competitive out here, dude. All these guys trying to pick up stuff. They're trying to get in front of you, cut line, because you know, everybody's trying to go. Oh yeah, dude, it's, it's insane. So <laughs> luckily I just kind of handed the paper over to this guy and he said, just come with me, follow me, hurry up. So hopefully it starts right up. That's yeah. the thing, because we don't have a booster box with us. Yeah, we don't. We totally forgot about wow. it. Wow. I think these guys may have one though, so I've never, I've never actually been out here, you know what I mean? Never, dude. Never been out here. Uh, hopefully this truck is not as bad as... Uh, bad, bad as it was in... Or hopefully it's not worse than the pictures. Yeah. He's looking for it. We're looking for it. It's a Dodge Ram 3500 Laramie, dude. Man, oh man, she is clean. All right, so he's gonna go fetch us a heavy duty jumper box, but dude, here it is. It's actually a really nice- Dude, it's clean. Yeah, it's oh super my goodness. Clean. Blue Let's... color. Love it. I, I really didn't know it was blue. I didn't really read the description. I, I, I knew it was blue, and oh. it's two-tone Laramie. Uh, the dash is blown, all that good stuff. Does it have the tow mirrors? Dang, son. Sure it is. Chromies. <laughs> we just checked the coolant because we are gonna start it up and actually drive it up. We got the, the Duramax parked over there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there's no coolant at all in it so we're just gonna have to move this quick, quick you know move load quick. it up hopefully we don't have no issues like that we did on the f450 where it was kind of hard to load up this one is not as wide honestly yeah, and dude. these tires are not as big you know these wheels and tires yeah. are kind of tiny so it might scrape this a little bit more who knows but <laughs> we're just gonna send we, it i put those bars there so we should be able to just get around it hopefully no suspension damage no, it don't look like no suspension damage and uh the frame rails Pretty this, good. Uh, this tow hook actually just broke off. So just like the horns of this frame rail is probably oh, man, that's, dude, that's, that's gonna it. be so awesome in this apron. But dude, I can't. I can't. We gotta see something. Actually, we gotta go look at one of the new, the newest uh, dirt. What is this called? The newest Cummins. The newest Cummins. Yeah, because thirty five hundred. Because we're planning on doing a full conversion Convert, front, end. front end. Like if it's possible, we're we're definitely gonna do it. We're gonna talk to the to the uh, the dealership over there and see if they can hook us up with like a whole front end. Because if, if the, the aprons, aprons are the yeah. same, that's what I was just about if to the say. The aprons are the same. We're gonna be a heads up. And we're gonna go all the way with it. If not, then we're just gonna do the regular front end. Do something else to it. Maybe but. do some sick uh, headlights and all that good stuff maybe a nice bumper we're definitely gonna hook our pops up all right so we actually found some coolant that we're gonna pour in there right quick you know just in case rather have something in there than nothing you know yeah, what i mean hopefully it doesn't just all leak out <laughs> if it does it'll be all right there yeah. is some coolant in this uh, reservoir tank so i'll suck it out of there too you know if anything dude this thing is not that filthy to be honest with you you know Pretty what i mean clean. i was looking under the wheel wells no rust nothing crazy like that you know all original pretty much which is a really good sign tires got a little bit of wear there but i mean it's not crazy on the mileage 77,000 miles that's, that's that's breaking it in right that's there breaking dude. in with these trucks right here dang look at this one over here it's a burnt 3500 man that thing is a crispy crisp what are you gonna do with this dude who would buy this this is just a scrap yeah you basically will buy this for scrap unless you maybe the frame rails are good i don't know I mean, no they look... dude they've been torched dude it's got a good engine in it though let's, let's see, see this engine Dang. Dang! That thing will probably still kick on and run. That's crazy. They got a lot of burnt vehicles out here, man. Oh, yeah. They got a new Dodge right here. 1500, I think. Oh, yeah. it is a Cummins, actually. Is it? Yeah. Is this, a, this is a 2500. Oh, no. This is the same body style. It's just a newer truck, you know? What? A Cummins? Man. We're out here lurking. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing this, but this is the front end that we want to do to it, oh, dude. Oh, yeah, we want to do this Well, actually, end. look at it right now. Is the front end the same? Let's see. Whatever. We'll look at it at the dealership. I don't want to get in <laughs> trouble because they're kind of strict around here with yeah. these cars. Like, Especially I, in Nashville, I noticed. They're pretty dang strict here. Oh, yeah. But it's all good, man. We're going to try to get this sucker on, man.
We're good. You got plenty. Come on, just come, just come straight. This way a little bit. This way. Woo, woo, woo. That's it right there. We're gonna level it out though. All right, so we finally got this sucker leveled out somewhat. It's gonna be tough hauling it back home, but we do gotta remove these ramps, right? Oh yeah, just like that Ford over there. Yeah, but it's honestly, I don't think it's as long as the Ford, but it may be just as heavy. It's gonna be kind of sketchy, but we're trying to move quick because we gotta get out of these guys' ways, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, they gotta drive back and forth and our truck is blocking it. And if we're blocking there, they're, we're Stone, basically stalling, stalling their business. So I we... see a little bit of coolant leaking somewhere over there, but- I good fill up with coolant. Good so thing good you thing. did, yeah, yeah, because we did have it running for a good bit, which is kind of sketchy, but I don't think we blew a head gasket or anything. No. <laughs> look at that, look at that differential though, dude. It's crazy, ain't it? Pretty nice and clean, but yeah, let's let's definitely uh get everything ready and hit the road, man. Let's do it. Check out this technique we found to load and easy. He grabs it right there. I grab it right there. Oh. I got it. Take, take a look at a co-part gravel with you. Sell it on eBay or something. Next thing is gonna be to do some right. sh Ooh. Made some money right here. That's a another score, dude. Is that a Looks like a fish tank. Oh man. He's drinking all the water. It ain't going. No, that's headlight fluid. Headlight fluid. We need that. <laughs> well, yeah, the last thing that we got to do is actually strap it. We're going to do like four points, probably strap it at all four points. And then I think we'll be ready to hit the this road. Is way easier One, than the, the Ford. Yeah, because it's not as wide in the front. Yeah. One thing I noticed is our trailer, dude. We may have to drop drop the trailer, uh, like crank it down, lift this up, and put our a hitch point right there up at the really top. Yeah, probably put it on the fourth one, like almost up to the very top. Yeah, but as of right now, let's do the straps first. Let's do it. All right, so she's strapped up. Last thing that we're gonna try to do is we already lifted up the trailer here, as you can tell. It's disattached, we lifted it up as high as it'll go, and we're gonna set it onto the highest setting on this uh, Gen Y hitch here. A little bit more. Come on, there we go. Dude, these are always sketchy to haul, man. We need something, a heavy duty trailer, that's really. That's why we got the 450, honestly. Oh yeah, that's right. Once we get that 450, man, this is gonna be like, like a Easy. feather feather in the bed. Oh yeah. But yeah, let's go ahead and hit the road. First time on the highway, and how does it feel, dude? Feels pretty dang good. Got it in mode six, man, just to get all that power, but it's way lighter than the F-450. Really? Oh yeah, definitely. Little quick little pit stop, you know, you gotta check up on your stuff, check your straps, everything is good. Driving smoothly, uh, grab a couple snacks, and we're just gonna keep on moving. Already ate the Lay's and the Doritos. Look at this, world's best gummy worms. Got a gas station pizza and one of these. Those aren't usually the best, but I'll give it a shot. Engine power is reduced. We just got a check, in, a check engine light that just went off. We went through our little tuner there and it told us what was wrong. And what did it say? Uh, uh, vehicle soot buildup? Uh, yes, high soot or something high vehicle re, uh, something like that. Re, it remember. needs a regen because it has a diesel particulate filter and it was maybe it's getting it's, clogged up or something. It's saying too, uh, too rich. What does too that rich. mean? I, I have no really. idea, but it's. It's gonna, I don't want. I don't want to do the region and it take like an hour or something because it says pop the hood, make sure there's perfect airflow, and I don't, you know, I don't want nothing to mess up while we're out here because yeah. we're still pretty far, pretty far way out. Yeah, we're but. about an hour out, so we're gonna check this out and we'll see what we're gonna come up with. All right. So cleaning exhaust filter must continue driving. So we're gonna get back on the road and uh, just keep keep moving, man. <laughs> Hopefully nothing happens. Hopefully we can make it home nice. That's why. Not a big fan of this LP5. Not dude. a big fan of DEF and exhaust, whatever yeah. they want to do to these new trucks, man. I, but I they're just, they're regulating that stuff too, so you got to be legal. But this uh, thing is engine light cut back on again. Engine light is on, but I guess we can still go pretty quick. So we're uh, just no gonna, power. I mean, I'll, I can't go past 2,500 RPM, which but, sucks. But you can go, you can make it up to like 70 miles an hour or 60. Yeah. So we're just gonna try to limp it on home and try to figure it out there. Woo-wee. 
you finally made it home limp that sucker home i don't know if i'm a duramax fan anymore come on keep on coming back what do you think max he don't think nothing of it thomas is the mechanic he's the one that's really going to tell us if it's a go or a no but dude this thing is looking good dude i love the two-tone uh yeah that's good right there he's trying to regen it with his with his foot right there but it was running funky man i did not know what's up with that duramax right there are you still a duramax fan maybe not after today <laughs> yeah that i mean that sucks dude it's like a, it's pretty much an oem truck and it started malfunctioning got a check engine light was almost, this thing too heavy or something this thing is not nearly as heavy as the f450 dude oh, the yeah, f450 super light. it was actually pulling up really good it was pulling up the hill and then once dude. i got up to the top of the hill and i was going down that everything cut on so i don't know if it got too hot or something because i did have it in level six trying to get all the power out of it i mean possible. it was performing good We're, we just oh, got to yeah. figure that out definitely needs a regen or something like yeah. that but let's go ahead drop or put these ramps back on and get this sucker off of here dude let's do it man oh, pops is not here we were supposed to surprise him but he's at work like we said he gets them bad hours yeah he gets bad hours he they called him last minute and he had to go but he'll be here early in the morning so we got to get this sucker ready maybe clean it up dude, a little bit or something it. let's let's make it look speak and span dude. let's do it All right, so we just try to start this sucker up and our booster box is completely dead. We'll probably give it a start tomorrow, but that's right now, we got it in neutral, right? Yes, sir. Yep, keep going. You're gonna get a little bit of speed. Woo -wee. Slow down, don't run into, don't run straight clean into that S2000. That was scary. <laughs> like How a rough... far back can I go? A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right there is perfect. She is looking good, but she's going to look better once we're done with her. But that's going to be all for tonight. We're probably going to catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here. We let the battery charge up overnight, so it should just fire right up. Then we're going to pull it up into the driveway, wash the exterior, and also clean the interior. Then we're going to fully inspect this thing with you guys. guys check this thing out dude it definitely cleaned up oh my goodness dude it it's looks brand new man looking mint from here on down but yeah you don't want to record that don't, side don't worry too much about that but now we're going to move on to the interior we didn't show you guys much of it but dude it is pretty dang clean already so we're not even gonna have to do much dude it's got all the mats leather is nice and clean no stains and none of that stuff and look at this dude what do we got here let me get up in here before we get started on cleaning this we got a little tv Dang, son that's pretty sweet if he decides to like convert this into like a sleeper back here i know some uh haulers will actually do that look at this it comes with two sets of headphones you no can listen like, dude you can listen like that if you that is to. legit Oh my goodness, it's got heated seats back really? here, dude. Look at that. Hey, wait, what is them connections? Can you play some Xbox you can, back here? <laughs> you can play an Xbox One back here or something. Or that is PS1. crazy. But yeah, let's go ahead and actually open everything up, grab some cleaner materials, probably take out some of these mats and get to cleaning.
check it out. We got the entire interior all cleaned up. She is looking nice and clean. We went ahead and actually pressure washed these carpets because there was a lot of gunk on them, but they're drying right now. And dude, man, this thing is starting to look brand new. Let's go to the front here, dude. Look at this. We even uh, were able to clean out them airbag damages, right? Yeah, we don't even have to do nothing now, man. We went ahead and popped this one in, but we just cut them out of the way so it's just a lot easier to pull this thing around. But dude, this thing is... This dude, thing I'm is surprised. growing on me. Dude, that's what I'm saying, dude. It's definitely growing on me, dude. This it's actually really nice. I can't believe how nice that is for 2014, right? 2012. 2012, dude. That is insane. How much technology? I guess this is just the Laramie dude, or whatever you want to call Dodge it. Dodge is actually probably the leading in technology, dude. Their newest one. It's got all sorts of bells and whistles. They oh, got yeah. a big old screen right here. So they are doing it. and the sound system. We found the subwoofer in here. Yeah, there's a subwoofer underneath the seat. Got the Alpine sound system. Looks really. I can't believe it has one of these. Got man. a socket, dude. It's got, dude. It's fully. Loaded, uh, heated and cooled seats up front and look at this leather dude it is mint you know dude. that's what i was thinking this leather is actually some durable leather because on gmc our gmc it's 2019. a 2019 and the leather over here has already has some crazy creases this thing just taking a beating and keeps on going hey it took a licking and kept on ticking right yep, there that's right dude <laughs> but that's pretty much it let's shut her down and uh unfortunately our dad actually will not be here today right so i guess he's gonna have to watch the youtube video and get a surprise via youtube video. oh yeah it's gonna be crazy he's gonna be calling us and stuff like that calling us. he's gonna be like what, what the heck is going on he who's, ain't even gonna understand what's going on that, whose truck is that really <laughs> yeah for real but this is gonna be awesome and as for the exterior we're gonna do a quick walk around and check it out dude uh, surprisingly these doors right here were untouched but the fender is mangled up so we're definitely gonna need a fender bunch of body panels the hood the other fender is actually in great condition gonna need some framework probably so we're gonna go ahead and ask v-tune to probably come check it out sometime gonna have to order aprons radiator support the whole entire cooling system and this is a regular intercooler it's not water to air like the ford but that sucker is probably going to be very expensive going to need a bumper unless we do an aftermarket but we're probably going to ask pops what he wants maybe he wants to go all original i don't know you know he may like that chrome stuff well, we may but, go with the 2020 front end dude if it works dude, dude. if it works we're definitely going to talk him into that but oh yeah obviously going to need a bunch of parts here but stay tuned for the next video but honestly i want to thank you guys for helping us make this happen we couldn't have done it without you you guys are part of the goon squad family and we just appreciate all the love and support but that is going to be a wrap for today's video make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also be sure to follow us on instagram to get an inside scoop before youtube and also guys if you want to help support your boys be sure to check out goonsquad.com we just restocked on these hoodies right here they always sell out quick so definitely check out goonsquad.com and cop you one so with all that being said thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you next time peace <laughs>